True or not, right. <laughs> it ain't gotta be true, yeah. <laughs> but you're putting it on yourself. Yeah. 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 been a day. Right. <laughs> right? It's been a day. But you, if you, I, I always say me, 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 I, I, I. So yes, I am pulling myself away from you. In, in all honesty, you haven't done anything. It's truly is me. But also, you ain't giving me nothing to want to hang out with you. Like, eh, I could, I can, I can, can, I can't take it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, okay, I don't like leaving my home. Um, I enjoyed going to the movies. I really wanted to see Kung Fu Panda, but otherwise, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a every weekend kind of girl. I'm like a once a month kind of girl and give me two weeks notice. Right. So now you're putting parameters <laughs> yeah. around, yes, I can show up for you in this capacity, but like, again, so, you know, I just, one-sided relationships suck. Yes, because you can feel it. Yeah. yeah. You're always showing up for someone else, but they're not showing up for you. Mm -hmm. And even though the conversations feel good to them, they want to hang out. Right. And so now this person that they've built all this rapport with, you know, all this, this these inside jokes, right? You said you want to have these, these, these conversations with people. You want to be able to pick up where you left off with people. But the only way you get that is sometimes you... You show up, you know? So many people, you know, I don't have anyone to hang out with. I don't have anyone to hang out with. Well, you don't have anyone to hang out with because you don't show up, you know? So you're, you gotta do some things that you don't wanna do, but as everyone said, as, and I agree and I echo, you put parameters on it. Juju said, I got 30 minutes for you. Right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Not actually why. I would stay here longer. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's where that came from. Ah! <laughs> I get it. People are living their lives. I give my mom all the time limit. She knows I, I, when I call her. That's yeah. I said, all right, so I'll be there around five. I was like, I'm going to be leaving by 630, please. Yeah. yeah. But I like that because you don't have to, you don't have to snake your way out exactly. where it's just like, well, okay. You're <laughs> 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 I'll push it five minutes. I mean, Cause I was on the phone with a friend the other day and she called and she was like, I'm gonna make it quick. And then we ended up being on the phone for 10 minutes and every two minutes she's like, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. But then, she, but she was enjoying the conversation. Exactly. So she kept pushing it. And then at the end she's like, okay, we really gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah. But she wouldn't, so you're the second person that I have encountered that puts time limits on their things. What is, how is your time management otherwise? Like, are you good with punctuality and boom, 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 boom handling tasks in timely yeah, manners? Because I'm struggling with that right yeah. now. <laughs> Mine. So you must have capital. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jenna. Okay. Yeah. I would say I'm very good with time management just because I over plan mm -hmm. and I over plan for the things that I want to do. And then the things that I don't want to do, I give them a very set time frame, but I only sort of focus on those. Mm -hmm. So, like, like I said, I don't know. I just, I don't really like going out specifically like to a club or to a bar. Mm -hmm. And so whenever we're invited out and I know my boyfriend wants to go out, I'll tell him like, hey, yeah, I'll be here for an hour. I'll literally drive the block, come pick you up, whatever, but I'm, I'm leaving. But then he also just sort of puts it in his head. And so if like, if it, if something starts at six, like I usually will put in my head that it starts at five. And so, mm. and so like mentally I'm late, but actually I'm on time. It actually started being like, Sometimes mm -hmm. people would schedule meetings for 12. I would get there at 11 30. Like, what's happening? Where is everybody? I'm just yeah, early. early. Yeah. And it's always like, even the meetings that I schedule. Mm -hmm. If it's a meeting that I want to do is really beneficial to either me or my business, I'll schedule it for two hours, even though most meetings are only for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. If it's something that I don't want to do, I'll schedule it for 30 minutes. Okay, you got 15 minutes, buddy.
So yeah. it kind of just people asking a lot of questions, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. Where it's like, well, you got you got 30 minutes of my time. If it doesn't work out, we can reschedule it. Right. It's going to be 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, so ask everything. Because really, you can get most things done, for me personally, in 30 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 30 minutes is for stuff I need to get done. An hour, hour and a half is if I'm like really trying to get a lot out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think I'm a pretty good time manager. I think I'm early more than late, but I'll definitely be late to like things I don't want to go to. Like if we're invited to something that starts at nine and then it's like 10. Yeah. I'm still like, yeah, I'm still gonna go. Just, you know, I might be there for the last 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard for me to force myself to go to some place that I don't want mm -hmm. to be. But sometimes when I do force myself, I end up having a great time. Uh, yeah. And so I have to think, is it the fact that I don't want to leave my house? I don't mm -hmm. want to put the effort forth or is it that I don't want to go? It's just like when someone calls me and I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to answer the phone. But then when I answer the phone, I'm on the phone for an hour. Yeah. You know, or it's like when I was like, I'm on my way. I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus, I'm so tired. <laughs> And then when Ion gets there, I'm just like dragging myself out the bed. And then me and Ion talking for two hours, you know, and, you know, we didn't end up parlaying into going to dinner and all these different things. And it's just like, you know, my friends have turned into almost family situations because it's just like they just start living with us because it's like you almost have to put your life on hold when you have company come over or you have to put your yourself when you go somewhere. But I have my friendships, which have been cool, is we just, they become a part of the family. Like, okay, it's time for dinner. They start cooking dinner with us, you know, and they start vibing with the family. So I found a way to really come into friendship in a space of, and, and Bailey said this too, because she was talking about um, people dating people. And she was like, do you think that we should vet people's future spouses? This is the 18 year old. This is the 18 year old like, you know, do you think, you know, we should vet these people? And this person has this such and such a character trait. Do you think that maybe we should talk about that? <laughs> you think maybe we should talk about that? And I was just like, well, that's beautiful because if your spouse can hang out with the family, this is your origin family. So this is, whether you vibe with it or not, this is your vibe, right? Mm -hmm. Whether you get along with your origin family or not, this is what you came up in, so this is what you're used to. So if your friends can come in and move in that energy, you know, then you know it's kind of a fit you and if you're trying to get away from it. But, you know, I guess if it's a bad thing and they vibe with your family, then you're just like, oh, well, you're toxic. But, you know, you understand what I'm saying. I love the friends that I'm accumulating now. Uh, I don't know about that word, but, you know, I'm, I'm gathering now. Like you, Juju. You know my daughter, you know me. You know Ion, you know my daughter, you know you know my whole family. And so the friends, uh, Auntie J, who is my best friend from high school, she's Auntie J. You know, so she's a part of the family. So I really like that type of friendship. What does friendship look like for everybody? Juju has to go. Well, you can go, Juju. I'll ask you a question quick, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if she's having a good time, right, Juju right. can extend. <laughs> right? You said 5.30. Yeah, I know. But at the same time, yeah. I'm always punctual. She never is. Yeah. Like, I'm there. She's like, yeah, you know, I'm leaving the house. Can we get some coffee? Maybe some snacks? Wow. You know what? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> She'll be there. I'll be there. I'm literally leaving. She'll be like, hey, why are you leaving? Right. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. It's not too much. I'll leave it a little bit. Mm. Um, but friends to me is just like I don't even know. Actually, that's a good question. We had this conversation with Dre earlier. That's really what I was thinking right now. I'm like, mm -hmm. I do not know what friends are to me. Friends to me, I feel like because you just had a turnover. Yeah. You told me about yeah your vision yeah. board friend. Yeah. Literally. Um, I feel like I'm just really. So 